Your worst nightmare, an Englishman with a badge. So it's 50 years of the Mustang, and of course people all over the country are looking back on the important role this iconic car has played in their lives over the years. And one area in which it was a star is of course law enforcement. Why? Because it's powerful, reliable, fast and American. Anyway, this week my producer said, JB, I'm going to get you some driver training tips from a real police driving trainer. I said, great idea, but we've got to take our own world's fastest police car along. So we chose a top of the line. Ford Mustang GT, and of course instantly recognizable with the more aggressive front splitter, grille, and on the hood, the heat extractors. This car looks positively badass, and it'll be very nice today to be one of the good guys. So here with Sergeant Dan Schraub now, who is uh, promoted since we last saw you. Dan, great to see you again on the show. Justin, always great to see you. But Dan's an old friend of Wells Fastest. We came out here to this airfield a couple of years ago, and you had this amazing program, Drag, which was actually in its infancy, but it's come a long, long way. Tell us about it. Absolutely. Drag Racing Against Gangs and Graffiti. Uh, it's a program we started up about four or five years ago. Uh, what our focus is as a police department is to get the youth, if they're uh, needing direction in life, they're interested in the auto industry, and it's working out well. Well, of course, <clears throat> in between running Drag, uh, you actually have to do the normal job of being a police sergeant, a police officer. Yeah. So uh, we're here, you know, we've got this cool Mustang GT. Uh, uh, give me some of the basics. We're sitting by the road, having a cup of coffee, and suddenly, what do I do now? Well, turn on the lights, let's go. Right, turn on the lights, go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? He looked perfectly good. I, I caught up with him. Yeah, you did. You did fantastic there, Justin. Uh, however, comma, we do have to worry about a lot of rules, policies, procedures when we are pursuing them. And you need to remain in control. I was perfectly in control. Uh, yeah, you might feel that you were in control, but when the public sees a car skidding around, they would think otherwise. Due regard for public safety. That's paramount. And of course, modern cars like this, they're so stable at high speed now, you almost right. don't realize how fast you're going. Well, typically in law enforcement, aside from pursuit driving, which we all need to be uh, proficient at, is say there is an obstacle or something we need to avoid in our lane of travel, yep. then we need to make that split se second decision right then and there, sometimes without braking, okay. Justin. So, We'll go ahead and travel at no more than 40 miles an hour, okay. if you will. And then I'll call out left or right, and then you make the movement. Well, you won't know until the split second, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready, Justin? I'm nervous. You're no Okay, fair enough. Left! Oh, I accelerated! <laughs> Whoa! What? Was that in the manual? No, no, that's not in the training manual, Justin. In police work at high speeds, <clears throat> the best way to control a vehicle is by shuffle steering. Yeah. And by what you're doing is at eight and four, the hands meet together, the top of the wheel and the bottom of the wheel, and, and that's during turning movements. But on the straightaway, you still have complete control of the vehicle if you need to make those sudden turning movements. Yeah, no, I, <clears throat> it's nice, makes a... Yeah, it, it actually is, feel is quite the best in control. way to control a, a vehicle at high speeds and at low speeds as well. Just. Yeah, what um, happens if we go a bit faster then? Well, you, you yeah, you can, you know, What happens if we do a, this? A little bit of notch. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, is that part of it? Well, again, we're back to traction control, Justin. Um, How's you that going for back you? There. Yeah, you yeah. almost hit something. Did I? Yeah, but <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't see the technique being applied you as did. it should have been, but oh, really? we'll work oh, on that's, a little, a little I will. bit more. The great thing about the Mustang is it has a lot of torque, right. you know, there's, it's very good. 
One thing I will say, Justin, I've never experienced is you're driving, but yet I'm leading the way because we're sideways. Oh yeah, there's that to it. Right. If we can kind of straighten out just a, just a little bit. Like that? Uh, uh, okay, now we've stopped. <laughs> I wish I could silence every police officer like that. I mean, in the nicest way possible. Oh, so, what do you think of my future as a police officer? It's going to need a little work. Justin, really? I'm not going to lie to you. Break it down for me then. Well, in summary, you've used over a half a tank of gas. What you've burned just about all the rubber off the rear wheels of this Mustang. I did that. Yeah. Um, and in terms of techniques and stuff, you've kind of gone away from what we were trying to establish today. But I think we can work on it. Okay, so basically a complete lack of respect for authority, but I'm almost there. You're almost there, with a little fine-tuning. Oh, well, thanks. No. Well, listen, Dan, thanks so much. I mean, great luck with the, the whole drag project, and yeah. I think we've definitely proven that in terms of performance, there's probably nothing better to be the pursuer in than a Ford Mustang. So, thanks for watching World's Fastest Car Show. Next time, I'll be in uniform. <laughs> we'll see about that. Really? All right, so now. Check back each week for more on your eBay Motors mobile app.